Okay, what's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. Cooking with Ned. Country Girl Cooking with Ned. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Today I'm going to be preparing a, a new baked chicken recipe that I came up with. Um, I'm going to show you guys everything that, I, that I'm going to do. So thank you guys for tuning in today. Like I said, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, the name of this chicken, I'm going. it's going to be baked chicken, but it's going to be honey, garlic, oven baked chicken is what I'm calling it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys everything I'm going to be putting in it. Um, right here, I have my chicken. It's already been washed and cleaned. I have it laid out on a, on a piece of uh, paper towel to, you know, absorb some of the moist out of it. Um, my ingredients for this recipe is I'm going to be making a little honey glaze for it, which includes some honey. It's honey, Dijon mustard. I have regular yellow mustard here. And the um, ingredients, I have like two tablespoons of this honey Dijon, uh, Dijon mustard, a, a teaspoon of this yellow mustard, and a couple of tablespoons of the honey, pure honey. And then over here I have um, minced garlic. I didn't have any fresh garlic, so I'm gonna use what I have, which is the minced garlic. Um, I have a couple of tablespoons of that, and then I have one medium chopped onion. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, like I said, I've already cleaned my chicken. I already uh, soaked it in vinegar, salt, water, and then I, you know, got all the excess stuff off of it. And the next thing I'm going to do is, oh, and I'm also going to be putting my dry seasoning. It's going to be this honey. It's called Weber's Honey Garlic Seasoning Rub. This is a new seasoning. I'm going to try it out today. Want to mix in some onion powder with it as well as some black pepper and a little bit of kosher salt so the first thing i'm going to do is i have my pan here place our chicken inside of the pan okay let's get this out the way Let's go ahead and put our dry seasonings on the chicken here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just move this chicken around so we can kinda get everything coated. Just kinda keep everything clean. I don't wanna cross contaminate anything. So let's go ahead and put in our dry seasoning here. Like I said, this is honey garlic, Weber honey garlic seasoning rub, okay? Now don't measure this stuff out. You know, I, I probably should for some of the some of you supporters that asked me to do it, and I probably will soon. But for right now, I'm just gonna season it, eyeball everything, and season it, okay? I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put in some onion powder here. All right, let's put in a little black pepper. Salt. Just a little bit of that in there. I'm gonna stick my hand in there. Okay, just a little kosher salt. Okay, and I'm gonna get me a glove so I can um, massage the seasoning in. seasoning and if I see I need to add some more I just want to make sure I got everything seasoned I like to massage my seasoning into my meat it just helps it coat a little better it smells good already the seasoning that I've used smells delicious Like I said, I've never did the, the honey, garlic, um, oven baked chicken. And I, I did a recipe on it already, but it wasn't it wasn't this recipe here. So I thought, why not share it with you guys? Maybe you guys will want to try this recipe. Okay, so I'm going to 
think I might need just a little bit more of the seasoning. I'm trying to get everything off the bottom. I don't want to over season it, but I do want to make sure that it's got enough seasoning on it. And I think what I'm going to prepare along with this is some roasted corn, um, some roasted corn. I have a recipe on that as well, so I'll probably be doing that. Some roasted fresh corn and some probably some um, dirty rice with this, something different. Okay, let me take this glove off so I can. So let's put just a little bit more seasoning. So we have that rubbed in. Don't use, no, use as much. I always tell you guys, you get your favorite seasonings and season it to your liking. But in this case, if you want to try this recipe, you get the, the, um, the dry rub and everything that I have here and try, you know, try this recipe. Okay. Let's get us a new glove, y'all. Silver gloves. Alright. Let's rub this in. So let's take our Dijon mustard here, set it in the bowl. Also going, let me put this in now to you in just a second. Because I left out one ingredient and that's my olive oil. I'm gonna be adding that in as well. Okay, let's 
and then I want honey. This is a honey garlic um, recipe. Just make sure we get all that out of there. These spatulas work wonders whenever you're doing, you know, something like this here because it's able to get everything out, or the majority of it out. That's gonna help coat and we put it in our pan. I see about two tablespoons of olive oil. We can add in here. And let's get this mixed in really good. And we're gonna pour this over our chicken and coat it real good over our chicken. Placing this in, a, in our baking dish, whatever dish you want to use the bacon in. Okay, let's we'll get this rubbed in good. Okay, everything is coated. Switch it around good in there. And I'm going to add my onion in it once I get everything inside of my baking dish. Okay. Thank you. 
going to get this seasoning that's left behind. You're not going to leave anything behind. Get all that good stuff and put it on here. Now, we don't have to put in, spray our pan or anything because, like I said, we have this olive oil in here. back and I'll let you see what it looks like. I'll see you guys back in just a second. Okay you guys and I'm back. So it's been an hour that my chicken that our chicken's been cooking. Let's take it out of the oven and let's see what we're working with. Off here and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's cooking up nice. It's not quite done yet. I think I'm cooking about another hour or so, but I am going to take this juice that's at the bottom and just baste the chicken with it. I just like a little broth. It smells good. It smells amazing. Just take that juice or that broth mixture that's at the bottom. And let's just go over the chicken with it. for an hour. Let's do another 45 minutes and let's see what it looks like. And we'll go from there. Okay? So I'll see you guys back in about an hour. We're going to cover this back up. Put it back in the oven for about another hour. 45 minutes to an hour. We'll see what it, you know. And I'll let you guys know what time it looked like. What time it took and how it looks at the end. I'll see you guys back in a second. Okay, you guys. So it's been about 45 minutes. I'm getting ready to take the chicken out the oven. Let's see what it looks like. So at this point, it's been an hour and 45 minutes. So I'm going to remove some of this broth off of it. Stick it back in the oven so I can get that crisp on top of it. I like crisp. Well, this is what the chicken is. Yeah, it's got a little crisp on it. So at this point, the chicken is done. I'm going to pull this juice off of it. I'm going to remove this broth off of it and I'll bring you guys back and I'll let you see what it looks like. Okay, you guys, and I'm back. Um, so, total time that I cooked, baked the chicken was an hour and 45 minutes, and I stuck it back in the oven on the 375 degrees for about 15 minutes to get that little crisp on top. So, that's what you see here. And um, this is my honey garlic oven baked chicken. You guys see that? You can see it. Okay. 
And I also have my corn that I told you I was going to roast. Here, I have that roasted. And we're getting ready to eat. So the next uh, the next clip that you guys see will be a, a picture of everything on the plate. See you guys in a second.